Hey, welcome back to you into uh, today's video. I hope you're having a lovely bank holiday Monday. We're doing the month head forecast for uh, May today. Quite late with the month head forecast uh, actually this month with uh, just the way the calendars uh, coincided with uh, the weekend and everything else. So uh, that's what we're doing today. We're going to have a look at what's happening for uh, May. We'll also have a review of the April forecast and then at the end have a quick sneak peek at uh, June. Uh, just to say that the website is in the process of going responsive uh, now. I've changed over a few pages already. There's more to come uh, through the rest of today. And then I'm hoping to get all the pages changed over within the next few days. Maybe it'll take a week or so. It's quite a big undertaking. It's quite a big website now. Um, so, uh, yeah, have a look at, if you're on a mobile view at some of the pages we've uh, changed over. The home page uh, has uh, changed over and a few of the other pages as well. Uh, your viewport should now be uh, confined within your screen if you're on a mobile. If you're on a desktop and uh, an iPad, uh, you shouldn't notice a great deal of difference. Uh, the general layout of the website is still pretty much the same. The buttons have changed and some of the colours, but uh, the overall view uh, should be similar. If you're on a mobile, you will notice a big difference. Starting from today, on some of the pages, I'm going to be rolled out across the website over the uh, next few days. I'm hoping, I say, to have the whole website done in about a week's time. Um, also, say about the ads, there's links to articles on all of the pages at Gazzo. does not have a browse through the widgets. Any articles that you're interested in, please click through. You'll be able to go off and read those articles, and thanks very much for doing that. Uh, there's also video ads on those pages. They open up in the content, they close back up again. Um, thanks very much for watching those. So let's get on with the month head forecast. We'll just very quickly deal with uh, April 1st. Well, the April forecast went for near normal temperatures and dry conditions. Now, in terms of the rainfall, uh, it was okay. It was a dry month, particularly the middle two weeks where it was very, very dry. Um, but the temperature not as good. The uh, anomaly here comes out at 1.1 degrees above average, so around a degree above average, uh, centering the temperature of 9.0. So it's a warmer than average month uh, and drier than average. So the temperature signal wasn't uh, that good this time. Uh, it was above average, solidly above average. Um, but precipitation, okay. But what caught us out, I think, was just the extent of the warmth within the high pressure. It did look like a relatively anticyclonic month, but the temperature anomalies, uh, <coughs> excuse me, were generally uh, pegged back um, with the longer range models. I think they underestimated how warm it got through, well, particularly the middle part of the month. And then, of course, we had that cold weather at the end, and all of the models sort of picked up on that, um, that it would turn colder and more and settle through the five weeks. So very odd April, uh, actually. Normally, it's a month that... Very similar to October, which is rapidly cooling. April is normally a month that is rapidly warming from start to finish. So to get the coldest weather right at the end uh, is quite unusual. It doesn't happen all that often. Anyway, let's go on to uh, the May forecast. And uh, this is a 700 millibar height and only from the CFS V2. Uh, we've got low pressure out in the uh, central part of the Atlantic. It's got a deep trough. We've got ridging here across western parts of Europe. Up. The jet stream is going rather like that. So it's quite an unusual chart there. Um, and it could potentially be quite warm, I would suggest, with that. With high pressure to centre to the south, we could pull up some southerly influences uh, at times. It really depends how the jet stream interacts uh, with the low pressure of the Atlantic and the ridge over uh, central Europe and going down into the Mediterranean. But potentially that could pull up quite a bit of warmth, I would think, from the south. Although the temperature anomaly... Uh, isn't anything to write home about. Actually coming out a bit cooler than average, as is most of northern and western Europe. I would expect that to be a little bit warmer than that. I can't really understand why the temperature normally should be so cool on that sort of setup. But there we go. The model is predicting uh, quite a cool month uh, for May. And the rainfall is coming out uh, around or a little bit drier uh, than average as well. So, uh, again, you'd expect that with high pressure quite close by. We have this slice of wetter conditions, though, going through central parts of France. Again, I can't really explain uh, why it's doing that. Um, I would think that the high pressure will be ridging up through France uh, and impacting. So, rather strange, really. And actually, if you've been watching the CFS six months look ahead uh, videos through sort of the past uh, few months, 
months. Um, you'll know that May has always been a very odd one to pin down. There's never been a consistent signal for it. Uh, and that's just gone on. We're even into May now. And it's gone on uh, into the month. Uh, but it is proving to be a very, very elusive and difficult month uh, to pin down. With these tantrums of stage economy, it's not really, I don't think, tying up. Uh, with the height anomaly. Let's see if the Beijing Climate Centre can show uh, shed any more light. These are the 500-year height anomalies broken down into 10-day periods. So the first 10-day period going from the uh, 6th of May through to the 15th. Uh, again, troughing the Atlantic and Ridge is down to the south and also up to the northeast as well. The jet stream would be going rather like that. So, uh, again, that's not too bad. Quite a bit of high pressure influences there. Uh, should keep it fairly settled um, going through up to the middle part of the month, if that's right. Uh, the next 500 mm height only takes from the 16th to the 25th of May. This one shows that we've got a ridge still down to the southwest and a trough uh, more up to the northeast this time. So the uh, flow with the jet stream is going um, rather like that. So we could just about be on the cool side of the jet there, despite that got high pressure to the centre of Spain and Portugal, because we've got a trough just to the northeast, and particularly evident over Scandinavia over here. That could actually be pulling down some quite cool air uh, from the northwest. So maybe that explains uh, what the CFS is doing. Um, although the height anomaly looks like it should deliver us uh, quite warm conditions, actually, uh, when you get down to the detail of how it's breaking down into various periods, for instance, this is a 10-day period, um, it's not perhaps not as straightforward as uh, the overall anomaly for the month would appear. And then finally going through to the uh, final 10-day periods, going from the 26th just into the start of June, um, it turns more unsettled, actually, at the end of May. We've got a trough more or less coming in across the country then, with a ridge slipping down to the south of the country, and the jet stream coming more or less through the country. So it implies, I think, up to middle part of the month, quite a bit of settled weather weather coming up. Uh, it's going to be very wet tonight though, across parts of the country, but quite a bit of settled weather coming up at the middle of the month, and then probably turning more unsettled in the second half of the month. The actual uh, anomaly for the month, uh, 500 meters height anomaly, is like this. Uh, again, ridge is evident down to the southwest, but a lot of troughiness in the Atlantic and uh, coming into the north of the country as well. So uh, if you have a look at the temperature anomaly for the month, again, very similar to uh, the CFS with the temperatures coming out around, even a little bit below average. Um, certainly nothing exciting there showing up. In terms of the rainfall anomaly for the month, we're coming out a bit wetter than average in the north and a bit drier than average in the south. But again, probably not deviating too far from the seasonal normal. So it's a rather a rather odd month to pin down uh, this one, to be honest. And as I say, May has been proving elusive when we're doing the CFS six months look ahead uh, videos over the past few months. Um, we have taken on board that the models underestimated the temperatures in April. Again, they're generally going around average, maybe a little bit either side, but uh, it turned out to be a uh, substantially warmer than average month, a degree above average. Um, so I think I'm going to go for, uh, let's say, slightly above average in terms of the temperatures. Probably not as much of an uh, anomaly as we had in April, but maybe still coming out a little bit uh, above the average. In terms of the rainfall, I would suspect we'll have another uh, pretty dry month, uh, really, uh, although it's starting off on a much more unsettled note than was the case in uh, April. So so uh, I'm very, very um, dubious about this month, to be honest. I'm, I haven't got great confidence in it, but I'm going to say uh, temperatures come out a little bit above average. Rainfall, probably around average, maybe even a little bit drier, uh, but no uh, real confidence, actually, in the outlook. Besides, sometimes you do have to do that uh, when you're doing forecasts. If you haven't got confidence, you have to admit that you haven't got confidence. And I really don't have a great deal of confidence in the outlook. Uh, for this month. It's going to be very interesting to see how it pans out. If I have a quick sneak peek at June, this is the FS 700 millibar height anomaly for June, and this looks quite good actually. We've got a ridge up here over Scandinavia, uh, and that would be bringing in, if it comes off, 
quite a bit of sort of southeasterly influences. Now, of course, you could drag in a lot of cloud uh, from the east. Um, so eastern parts of the country could be played by cloud and mist. So uh, easterly in June is never that good uh, on the east coast. But for most parts of the country, that could be quite good. It could be fairly dry and quite warm as well. But with so little confidence in the outlook for May, uh, really, I think better leave June alone. So coming back to the uh, overall um, summary for the month head from gaslightbiz.com, it is for, uh, with very low confidence, slightly above average temperatures uh, and around normal rainfall, maybe even ever so slightly drier than average. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.